So I started talking to a white boy. So I've seen this trend going all over my For You page. And there's a black man. I'm happy for you, sis. I really am. And you just seem so healthy and happy. I seen some brothers getting mad and stuff, but... Man, as a black man, we have failed you. We had to feel some of you. We did. We misunderstood you. We, we were disturbing. We did. We did. We hurt you. But a lot of us are also misguided, too. You know what I'm saying? But that's not the point. The point is that you're happy. I like that. <laughs> Let's break this down, shall we? The first thing that he mentions about this woman is that she's happy. I despise that people put themselves in predicaments that aren't mentally sane, right? And you can feel how you want to feel concerning swirling and racial dating, all that type of stuff. But when you're dealing with a predicament, and if you study people like Dr. Naeem Ekbar, if you study people like Dr. Joy DeGruy, Dr. Francis Cress Welsing, if you study their work, you understand that black people suffer from what Dr. Joy DeGruy calls uh, traumatic slave syndrome. You study from Dr. Naeem Ekbar, and you understand that we suffer from seeing black or, or seeing black people as inferior, seeing ourselves as inferior, but considering white people and, and Caucasians as people who are superior. And you study this with Dr. Prince Chris Wilson because even from the age of four or five and six, we are given this dynamic between white and black, wearing black at funerals and wearing white to weddings. You know, the big football kicking it through the white goal, the big brown ball going in the white basket. You know, it, from, from the age of four, five, and six, we are given this subconscious dynamic between white and black. But we must look at the fact that we don't teach hatred. Everywhere we go as black people, we face hatred. Look at it. Look at it. Angel food cake, white people say it's white. Right. Devil's food cake, you say it's black. You wear white to weddings and black to funerals. Black ball, black male. You give us a blonde-haired, blue-eyed, pale-skinned, buttermilk complexion Jesus in contradiction to the black Jesus with nappy hair in the Bible. Our own babies, according to behavioral, sci behavioral scientists, our baby girls, when confronted when choosing, with choosing between a black doll and a white doll, there has been so much damage done, they choose the white doll and say the black doll is ugly. And can you show me the doll that is the nice doll? And why is that the nice doll? She's white. And can you show me the doll that looks bad? Okay. And can you give, and why does that look bad? Because it's black. And why do you think that's a nice doll? Because she's white. And you get into a state where you have these set of women who consider their own men not good enough for them. But Billy Bob, Kevin, they're good enough. And, and a lot of people don't see the, the, the mental illness here. They don't see the conditioning here that you consider people outside of your race a better compatible partner than people within your race.